All right, we're gonna make a little video here with the Garrett AT Pro. I've had a little over a year. Haven't had a chance to use it as much as I'd like. I do like it, but I tend to dig up a lot of bottle caps. So today we're gonna to try to find out the difference between bottle caps and coins. They seem to ring up in the 80s range. Let's see if we can find a, the difference. Now, what I've got here is a bunch of coins. They're all in bags, mostly to keep them clean, and also so when it's time to pick them up that I can see them. And then I've got some bottle caps lined up here too that were ringing up like in the 80s or low 80s. All right, so on the left here we've got, this is a 96 nickel, and that is ringing up low 50s. Here's a 1964 nickel. It's a little different, but. Now here's an 86 quarter. Getting a real strong signal on that. 85, that's nice even 85. Here's a 72 quarter. And here's a 1940 quarter. That's 90% silver, so that's coming up 87 consistent. 87, 89. It's hard to see here in the viewfinder. This versus a 72, that's less silver content. And then what else have we got here? We've got a mercury dime. This is the sort of thing I hope to find in my detecting. So mercury dime is coming up. It's like 81, 83, 82, low 80s, I guess. Now, this is a, a lead sinker. This is hopefully replicating what a musket ball would be like. And I, Oh, and I've got these on the ground because if you've got the, the coil on a table and just waving stuff in front of it, it reads different than when you get it on the ground. The, the ground is a factor. So, oh, and you can see the closer I get to it here, too. So that uh, sinker, a good solid 69. Back to that mercury dime, low to mid 80s. Then we've got a Liberty Quarter, looks like 1926, that's 90% silver. Yeah, mid to high 80s, even saw a 90 there. And then a barber quarter, I think it's a 1904, 87, pretty solid. And then I've got a Morgan dollar, I think it's 90% silver too, I'm not sure of the date, but now look at that, that's the high 90s. Let's see some of that when I'm scanning for coins. And then I've got some silver eagles, two silver eagle bullion coins. That's pure silver. Now why am I getting a strange signal on that? That's pure silver, that should be going off the chart. But high 90s, and then I've got a one ounce gold Krugerrand. So that's solid gold. And I'm getting an 81 on that. And that's what I get when I dig up bottle caps. So Krugerrands and bottle caps bring up the same. Now let's look at the bottle caps. Because I've been digging these up like 80, 81. See that? It's ringing up the same as the Krugerrand. Bottle caps and solid gold are coming up the same. Now I can't see the viewfinder. Oh, 53. No, 81 now. So you can see my dilemma. There's a pull tab. Alright, that's coming up in the 40s and 50s. Another pop top or pull tab. So at least I'm getting iron signals on these. This is a partial pull tab. In the 70s. And that's 77. And the last bottle cap. This ringing up like a mercury dime or a or a Krugerrand, a solid gold Krugerrand. So that's that's my dilemma at this point with this AT Pro. If uh, anyone viewing this 
has ideas on how I can discriminate between bottle caps and silver and gold coins, I am all ears. I would love to hear from you because I learned a lot in the last year, both from doing things and YouTube, but obviously I'm still missing something because I'm digging more bottle caps and coins. If anyone has advice, I am all ears, and I thank you in advance for that. Have a great day.